Hey Ukaipa and welcome to this episode of Walk with the Mayor where we get out, walk around our town and talk about the questions you have, address some of the concerns and explain the why of our city government. Now today we're out here at Wildwood Canyon Road in Oakview. It's a heavily traveled area of our city. The city received a lot of concerns and complaints about this area and the condition of the road. The city responded by conducting a study to determine whether or not traffic calming measures was warranted. I'm going to get to what I mean by warranted later on in this video. Now ultimately, your city council authorized city staff to install traffic calming measures at this intersection, which included $40,000 of your money to install flashing beacons to warn drivers and pedestrians of this intersection being used by pedestrians. Additionally, the city council authorized staff to install roadway striping that will warn drivers of this area being used for pedestrians. Now over the next several months, you're gonna see our city crews out here installing those beacons and performing that roadway striping to keep everybody safe. Also, during that city council meeting, public comment was heard, the city council listened, and we direct directed city staff to include the intersection further east of here in part of our striping pro process. Ultimately, it was determined that a protected left-hand turn lane would mitigate some of the hazards at that intersection and ultimately make it safer for all who use it. Now, when we talk about traffic safety, we can consider the three E's of traffic safety. Education, which is what this video is. It aims at educating the members of our community and the people who use this roadway on the laws and the safety aspect of traveling this area. Then there's enforcement, where we rely on our sheriff's deputies to enforce the laws of the land and provide that consequence for violating the law. Lastly, engineering, and that's what I was speaking about a moment ago. The traffic beacons with the flashing lights, the roadway striping, and if it was warranted, a stop sign. Now I wanna talk about what I mean by a warrant analysis. The city of Ukaipa doesn't have the authority to just install stop signs or speed bumps wherever they want without any consequence. State law dictates that a study be conducted and a warrant analysis be determined to, to figure out if a stop sign is warranted. Now we've all seen those intersections that are very rarely traveled and they have a stop sign. And we've seen our fellow drivers run right through the stop signs because they know the conditions of the road and there's very rarely traffic there. What the city of Ukaipa wants to avoid is installing another stop sign that will be ignored and create more of a safety hazard because one person's expecting people to stop and then people don't. Ultimately, the city's liable for everything they put on the roadway and a warrant analysis just heaps liability off the citizens, off of the city and off of our coffers by making sure that every addition to our city roads is warranted and is legal. Thanks for watching Kaipa. God bless, stay safe.